Sam Walton and Walmart created a major change in retail sales in America and the world. It is one of the biggest companies today. There are over 9,000 stores around the world. The person that is credited for founding Walmart is Sam Walton. Sam Walton was born in Kingfisher, Oklahoma on March 29, 1918. As an adult, Sam was very interested in business. In 1950, the first Walton 5 and 10, Sam's first ever business owned, was opened in Bentonville, Arkansas. Sam, unlike most business owners, believed that a big business could exist and thrive in a rural area. After purchasing a large number of the Bennett Franklin stores, which were common at the time, opened up a new store under the name of Walmart. The first Walmart was founded in Rogers, Arkansas in 1962. A quote from Sam Walton explains the foundations of the Walmart company. If we work together, we'll lower the cost of living for everyone. We'll give the world an opportunity to see what it's like to save and have a better life. The opening of the first store went well. The second one, however, did not. It was a very hot day. Some of the watermelons in front of the store actually started popping. Watermelon juice was everywhere. As explained by Sam's friend David Glass, quote, the donkeys did what donkeys do, unquote. On October 31st, 1969, Walmart was officially entitled Walmart Stores Incorporated. The 1970s marked a great start and significant growth for the company. At that point, Walmart employed 1,500 people at 38 stores, with sales of $44.2 million. Walmart also started legally selling shares as a publicly, publicly held franchise in 1970. Some of the companies competing with Walmart were Kmart, J.C. Penney and Sears. In 1977, Walmart had moved into its 10th state, and in 1977, Walmart broke the record of reaching $1 billion in sales faster than any other company. At the end of the decade, Walmart had 21,000 associates, $1.248 billion in sales, and 20, 276 stores. The 1970s brought new growth and new opportunities. Walmart's largest distribution center yet in Palestine, Texas opened in 1980. For the eighth straight year in 1983, Walmart was ranked number one in Forbes magazine. In the same year, Sam implemented the idea of greeters in all of the Walmart stores. The greeter's purpose was not only to help create a friendly atmosphere, but it was also to help prevent shoplifting. Also, the first Sam's Club opened in Midwest City, Oklahoma. Sam Walton believed in having a heck of a good time while working hard. In 1984, he did the hula at high noon on Wall Street after losing a bet to David Glass. The entire event was televised and brought to the attention of the public. As said by Sam Walton himself, it turned out Dade, Dave had hired a truckload of hula dancers and ukulele players, and he had alerted the newspapers and TV networks. 1987 marked Walmart's 25th anniversary with 1,198 stores, sales of $15.9 billion, and 200,000 associates. Walmart had also finished the Walmart Satellite Net Network, the largest communication system in the United States at the time that was publicly owned. This system linked the home office and stores with two-way voice data and one-way video communication. 
By 1988, 99% of stores had barcode scanners. The first Walmart Supercenter opened in Washington, Missouri. David Glass was also named Chief Executive Officer. In 1990, Walmart became the number one retailer in the U.S., with stores in 35 states. Walmart branches out even more in 1991 by stepping out into the international market. The company opens its first store outside of the U.S. and Mexico City. March 17, 1992, Sam Walden was presented with the Medal of Freedom by President George H.W. Bush. Just weeks after, Sam Walton dies at the age of 74. After his passing, Sam's son, S. Robson Walton, was named the chairman of the board. 1995 saw the passing of Walmart's co-founder, James Lawrence Bud Walton, Sam's brother. That year, Walmart had also entered its 50th state, Vermont. Walmart Stores Incorporated operated 1,995 stores total, 239 super, star, super centers, international stores with 675,000 associates and sales of $93.6 billion. Two years later, Walmart became the largest private employer with about 680,000 associates. In 1999, Walmart became the largest employer in the world with over a million associates worldwide. Today, Walmart is still very successful. Mike Duke is the current CEO of Walmart. There are 9,884 stores in 28 countries with about 2.1 million associates serving more than 176 million people a year. Some interesting facts about Walmart are, if all of Walmart's stores were put in one place, it would take up more than 32 square miles. Walmart parking lots alone take up roughly the size of Tampa Bay. Last year, Walmart so sold more bananas than any other product. In conclusion, a major change in retail sales in America and the world was created by Sam Walton and Walton Stores Incorporated. The creation of this franchise will continue to influence modern society for a long time.